I did a thing. Hey friends, it's Rachel and welcome to my bathroom where I'm hopefully going to fix this mop of hair. You guys always ask how I did these like two front highlight streaks. They're definitely due for a redo. Look at that regrowth. Yeah, wow. Time to touch that up. So I thought I would show you the process today. It's not a tutorial. So don't come at me if you <laughs> try this and it turns out horribly. Everyone's hair is different. Everyone's hair has got different uh, things going on. But I thought I'd show you the process nonetheless because you guys always ask. Um, let's get started. Here's what I've got set up. Excuse the, <laughs> the tripod, obviously. So my bowl, gloves, some brushes. Uh, I've got my developer, two developers explain as I go. I've got bleach, I've got some Olaplex products and some toners, semi-permanent color and I've also got some foil, some hair clips and a towel that I'll put around my shoulders in a minute. I've also got a towel comb so let me section out the hair first. Right so I've settled on these two strips. This is what it's looking like. That's my section there. Okay I've clipped away my sections while I get my bleach ready. So I'm using Wella Blondor Multi Blonde Dust Free Powder Lightener. I get all my stuff from a salon supply store. Into a bowl. And I've just decided I'm going to do two separate batches. So one's going to be 30 volt and one's going to be 10 volt. As you can see, my hair is naturally quite dark, almost black. So I'm using the 30 volt on the roots where there is no bleach existing. So I'm just going to pop that in. That smells strong. And I'm just going by consistency, kind of like a thick toothpaste. And then I decided I'm gonna do the ends where it's existing blonde with 10 vol, just to lighten it and brighten it up a little bit more so it's a tiny bit blonder than last time. I'm using 10 vol because obviously it's already bleached, but I don't actually have 10 vol. So I'm gonna use my 30 vol and put the tiniest bit in there and then I'm going to dilute it down with water. So I'm going to do a third of 30 vol and two thirds of water. And if I got my math right, that should dilute it down to 10 vol. That's all I've got with me right now. So that's what I'm going to do. So because I wanted my highlights to grow out really naturally, and as you can see, they definitely did. They don't have like a really harsh band that I needed to touch up every like few weeks. They kind of ended up looking more like a grown out balayage and that's the kind of look I wanted. So to do that, I used foil. So I did a foil technique where I skip some of the hairs so that when it grows out, it's got more of a diffused root. So I'm taking maybe a half a centimeter section and then I'm going to weave the hair out. And then grabbing my foil, I'm going to place the towel comb at the root of that section, like so. And then 30 volt to the roots. And I'm going to use the tip of my brush to go down any dark sections that need to be highlighted further. And I'm not worrying about going right up to the root because I still want it to look a little bit more natural. Then taking my 10 bowl and I'm going right down the rest of the hair. Then folding that back up and I'm using my towel comb to push it right up into the root. And then I'm doing triangle folded foils because it helps to pinch the root so it doesn't slip. Um, just because it's a little bit easier if you're not good at foiling your own hair. You don't want them to slide around and then the product to spread everywhere. Next half centimeter section. This one has a section that's way darker, so I'm going to take some of the 30 volt down that. And then again, I'm not going right up to the root, just kind of skipping over it. Taking the section that's 
pretty brown and I'm gonna go over it with 30 volt. This is probably a bad idea, but I don't care. And then with the rest of the hair on that side, I'm going to end up with my 10 volt. Oh my God, that was messy. I can't see what I'm doing. And then folding her up, using my towel comb to tighten that up right up to the root. And then fold over those edges. All right, so I'm going to dye the rest of my hair back to its natural color. You can see this some older kind of streaks through the bottom from when I used to go to a salon. And I just want it to be all my natural color and then just the caramel blonde streaks in the front. So I'm going to mix up some semi, semi, some semi permanent color. I'm going with 4N by Goldwell. So that just means a level four, which is quite a deep brown in the natural tone. Then I've got my semi-permanent developer. I'm taking the two sections that we weaved out from the front blonde bits and I'm just going to get them out of the way. Time for me gloves and a towel around my neck. And then semi-permanent color works best on wet hair. So I'm just going to really quickly wet through all the hair that I want to color. Then giving it a brush through. It doesn't have to be completely saturated. In fact, it shouldn't be. It should be more like towel dried hair. And away I go. Once that's through the roots, I'm just massaging it through with my fingers to make sure I didn't miss any spots. And then I will go through and finish off the ends. I think the foils have had like a full 45, so I'm just gonna check on them now. The rest of the semi can stay for a bit, but uh, let's see how these guys are going. I think I'm just gonna pull them. Hmm, not bad. Oh, not bad at all. Okay, awesome. Let's pull these out. Wow, okay, I'm really pleased with how blonde they turned out. Not gonna lie, we definitely have some jelly ends to be expected because I went over my already bleached hair with some bleach. I'm gonna take these bits that I skipped. I'm just going to massage them through literally for like 30 seconds. Just to take the edge off this old color. And then I'm gonna rinse it straight in the sink because I'm gonna let this do its thing. I'm just gonna leave it on for a while because I'm gonna turn this anyway. So I will be right back. <laughs> now is when things start to look scary. So this is when it's rinsed out before I've obviously toned it. You can definitely see there's some thinny orange brassy bits. I'm gonna tone it back to about a level eight to nine. So I'm mixing Wella Color 881 Light Blonde Pearl Ash with 1081, which is lightest blonde pearl ash. We need the ash to get rid of all the orange and yellow that this is throwing. And then obviously mix it with some semi developer. I'm not using gloves this time because it's a really light toner color, so it won't really stain my fingers, although it might stain my nails a tiny bit. Right, 
I'm gonna leave that another 20 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse the whole thing off and see you after. Alrighty, are you guys ready for the final result? Ta-da! I am so freaking pleased with how it turned out. It turned out even better than I thought it would. I didn't actually think that it would lift this clean blonde. Definitely got a little bit of breakage, but that was to be expected because I did go over already bleached hair. And prior to that, my hair had been through a lot. So I don't really mind. I'm in quarantine. I have lots of time to let it grow, grow back, get nice and healthy again. I also bought these two little sample size kind of like Olaplex, but the cheaper version. So it's by the brand High Lift. This is Cureplex number two. And then I also got number three. So number two is what you use directly after a bleaching process. So I use that in my hair today. I'll use this for the next couple of times until it feels a little bit less like jelly. <laughs> and then I'll continue using this. This is the at home treatment to keep your hair nice and strong and healthy. All right, that's it. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this for any of you who have been asking me how I do my hair at home. Now, you know, once again, this is not a tutorial, so Follow at your own discretion. Everyone's hair is gonna react very differently to the same kind of products, especially because you might have different kind of hair texture to me, different color, different existing color as well. So all those factors will change the result of what your hair will turn out like. Anyways, I wanna kind of make this into a series. So let me know if you'd like to see me do more like DIY at home treatments, such as uh, these nails that need to go desperately. So those will be next, I think. But let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd like to see. If you wanna hang out every day, I do post on Instagram every single day. And if not, I will see you on my next video. I love you all so much. Mwah.